Hey guys, it's Greg Jones for Engine Builder. Today we're in Houston, Texas at the School of Automotive Machinists. I'm joined by Andrew Hackmeister. And between us here is a supercharged 388 cubic inch LS engine. And it's our Engine of the Week. Engine Builders Engine of the Week is sponsored by Pen Grade One, L Ring DOS Original, and NPW. Andrew, thanks so much for giving us a little time here today to talk about a car and an engine that you guys have had uh, more than a few hands in, uh, you know, putting together and getting ready for uh, mile racing. I understand. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah. So, if you could walk us through a little bit about this LS engine and maybe the Cadillac in general in terms of what you guys have had to, had to be doing on it. Awesome, yeah. So with, with this engine where it first started out is uh, a former customer from where I used to work at. Uh, once he came back to me, we ended up having some issues and we kind of completely changed routes. And we first started out with a Dart iron block okay. now and we have a Dart three inch 622 stroke in it. That's the eight counterweight one. Okay. Uh, we have a set of Dyer's rods in there with a set of diamond pistons. Uh, we're sitting at around 10-0 compression. We ended up having some issues in the previous years with you know, not making it to the end of the mile. And so we wanted to dumb down the compression a little bit so that way you know, we kind of open up our tuning window and leave some room on the table for us. Yeah. Uh, as far as the cylinder heads go, they are a set of trick flow heads that are ported by Greg Good. Uh, we have a Kong 2650 blower on top of this. And uh, yeah. yeah. That's awesome. I and I understand this is, he's doing some mile racing uh, here with it very shortly, trying to, trying to hit some top speeds uh, in the mile. Um, so you guys are also getting into some tuning work on it. Uh, walk us through a little bit of you know, what you guys have been doing there. Yeah, so once we ended up getting the engine all together, we uh, ran it on the engine dyno, and we put it in the chassis, uh, started going and driving it on our chassis dyno here. Uh, it turns out we kind of want a little bit more with it, and for the miles, since we're gonna be holding it wide open for a long duration, we actually wanted to put some extra cooling measures in there, and so we ended up getting a ProMeth kit for putting the injectors up in the hat of the blower to cool it off. And so that way we can try to keep everything manageable along with having a little bit more power and have our tuning window a little bit bigger. Yeah, yeah, very cool. And like you said, this is a customer of yours who uh, you know now he's bringing the car here to Samtech. Uh, so it's something that the students can kind of get involved with as well. You want to talk a little bit about you know, what they're learning from having a car like this in the shop? Oh yeah, no, 100%. With this engine, when it first came in here, it came in with a lifted head that torched a, a head gasket and torched part of the head. We ended up melting a piston along the way. And so the students got to go through how we tear everything apart, what we need to check along with it to make sure everything's okay and safe. And then we get to go through the whole machining process, what kind of things we need to learn about how it was built prior, mm -hmm. and what changes we kind of need to make to make it survive. Yeah. And so they got to tag along with all of our clearance and measuring along with our assembly. And then when we got it up onto the dyno, a lot of times if I'm able to sit back and just run the stick, I'm way happier. Yeah. If I don't have to touch the engine, just let them go out there and run the, run the show. Yeah, yeah, very cool. Now, Andrew, you mentioned uh, the dart block and Dyer's rods. Um, how about up top uh, in terms of some of the valve train components? Do you have to know so some with, of what's in there? With the valve train components, we're running a set of Crower rocker arms okay. and a set of 3 8 push rods. Okay. There. Yeah, there. if I remember right, they're a trim. Okay. And uh, any uh, understanding of what the cam is in there? Or? Uh, I'd have to look it up, but I'm going to tell you that the cam is 244 degrees okay. on the intake. 255 on the exhaust with a 115 LSA okay. and about 660 lift. Very good. 
And like we said, this is a supercharged uh, LS. You know, how much boost is uh, your customer typically running uh, when he's out there racing? So uh, the prior iteration of this, they were running about 18 pounds of boost. Okay. And we wanted to slow that blower down a little bit and try to be able to manage our heat a little bit better and kind of make everything survive. And so now we're running about 12, 12 to 15 at most. Okay. Very good. And then what does that all translate in terms of you know, how much horsepower he's making and maybe what his mile per hour goal is out there? Yeah. So on the engine dyno, we're making about a thousand horse. And then when we put it on the chassis dyno, we're sitting at about 850 okay. without running any methanol yet. Very cool. So, Very and this cool. thing also does have nitrous as well. Okay. Yeah. And, so. and how much nitrous is he uh, typically going to spray? Well, we're going to have it set up for a 200 shot to start out. Okay. And we're mainly, if we don't have to run nitrous during the mile to reach our goal of 200 mile an hour, then we would much rather not use it, but that's just going to be one of those add-ons that gotcha. we can make. So if he needs it to get to the 200 mark, he's got it there in reserve, but uh, <laughs> Hopefully uh, it'll do it just on the supercharger, right? Oh yeah. No, in go. theory it should it should be able to make it the way that we'll end up having it here. Uh, we'll be happy to see what it does once we put that, that meth kit onto it from mm -hmm. ProMeth and see what she does. Yeah, very cool. Andrew, anything else about the build or anything else about what you guys are doing that we're leaving out? Um, not that I know of. Yeah. We're sitting pretty happy with it. Cool. Yeah. And I understand uh, his race is coming up here just in a couple of weeks, right? Yep, yep. It's coming up here at the beginning part of October. Okay. And so we're going to have to have a pretty quick little turnaround, and we'd like to see a couple of runs before we yeah. actually do the actual mile event to make yeah. sure everything's going to survive. Very good. Well, Andrew, we appreciate you telling us a little bit about this LS engine. Guys, we appreciate you all watching this episode of Engine of the Week. Make sure you're checking out everything going on here at the School of Automotive Machinists. And as always, make sure you're checking out enginebuildermag.com for more engine content. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.